Hello everyone, we're here at the American College of Rheumatology Conference in San Diego, California. Uh, this is the largest rheumatology conference in the world. We have about 15,000 attendees here um, with uh, hundreds of lupus-related uh, uh, posters and presentations. We're very proud to be here, um, and we're happy to welcome our 2016 Career Development Award recipient, Dr. Sarah uh, Tedeschi. Uh, Dr. Tedeschi is an instructor of medicine at the Harvard Medical School and also a rheumatologist at Brigham and Women's Hospital um, in Boston. So, welcome. We're very thankful to have you here. Um, also, uh, if you could tell us a little bit about your research um, and some findings for our constituents. Sure, thank you having, for having me here. Um, and I'm really thankful to the Lupus Foundation for the Career Development Award that supported my work on this project. We looked at the risk of having a bone fracture among lupus patients compared to patients without lupus that were enrolled in the U.S. Medicaid um, insurance program. And we were able to look at more than 47,000 lupus patients, making this the largest study that we know of, looking at the population risk of having a bone fracture in lupus compared to non-lupus patients. And we found that lupus patients have approximately eight times the risk for having a bone fracture compared to patients who don't have lupus. Among lupus patients, those who have kidney disease, lupus nephritis, we had an even higher risk of 11 times the risk compared to patients without lupus. Wow. So what would you recommend for our constituents? It's very important to talk with your rheumatologist about your own bone health and your risk factors for potentially having a fracture. And these include your medications, specifically prednisone type medications, as well as how long you've had your disease. And it would be worth talking with a rheumatologist about whether you might want to consider taking medications to try to prevent fracture. And at the most basic level, this would be calcium and vitamin D supplements. And then sometimes we also recommend using stronger medicines to prevent the risk of having a fracture over time. So definitely speak with your doctor about whether these should be considered in your case, and also whether you should consider having a bone density test, which is a type of x-ray that looks at whether your bones are thin compared to other people your age and whether your risk for having a fracture may be higher. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing those findings with us. Uh, so what about you? Do you plan on staying in the field? Yeah, lupus is certainly very interesting. There are tons of unanswered questions, and having a career development award from the Lupus Foundation has really been very critical to my research success. So I look forward to continuing my work. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Thank you to Dr. Tedeschi for joining us today, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.